Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover day-to-day -day DIY projects and garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. Ah, hello, welcome back. Dave's Diaries in France. 155 subscribers. I don't know what I've done. I think I've broken something. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to my new subscribers. Absolutely amazing. It only seemed like a month ago when I only had, what, 44 subscribers or something. Absolutely amazing. I'm chuffed to bits. Thank you for your uh, kind comments as well uh, regarding Una, our uh, little golden retriever, Handy Shan. Um, you know who you are. Um, all comments are welcome. Um, thank you. She's doing well. Um, her cut on her um, rear paw is uh, healing, healing nicely. And uh, so, yeah, all is good there. Um, a lot of you might think, oh, he's wearing that uh, check shirt again, covered in stuff, <laughs> plaster, filler, paint. Yeah, I'm in the office again, which is uh, the renovation project that we're doing. Um, I didn't want to come today, to be honest. Yesterday, I uh, all I did was uh, uh, um, do some planing on some wood in preparation for putting the shelving unit and uh, shelving the um it's not it's a shelf in the jeet um so i'm nearly done with that i didn't film it i forgot to film it to be honest and then i uh, did a bit of shopping did a did a dechettery run um from all the kiwi and bamboo we've chopped down and i did some cooking cauliflower cheese Delicious. If you want the recipe, you know, you know what to do. Comment. Um, so yeah, it, yesterday was uh, relatively quiet, busy, but uh, quiet. Uh, today I'm back in uh, the Reno project and um, I've got some more skimming to do. Uh, I don't think I've got sanding to do today. It's just skimming because uh, the weather outside is just atrocious. It's driving rain and it, it sets you in a bad mood when you first wake up and you see driving rain. It, it's, it's not nice. And I'm not whinging. Honestly, I'm not whinging. So, um, yeah, so I'm here. I'm just going to have a cup of coffee and uh, uh, do some skimming. I don't know how much I'm going to get done, but... Uh, let's uh let's see how far we get on a on a side note for people like me um anyone who moves to france and they run out of socks especially workmen's socks or work woman's socks i would recommend going to action or uh, sorry action if you're english if you're french action go there the workman's socks are absolutely amazing i bought three pairs i think they come in packets of three i bought a packet uh, a couple of weeks ago and i thought oh these are good especially if you're wearing protective shoes like i did um so i went back again last week and got another um three pairs and then what what are they three euros I think they're three euros. Something very, very cheap. It's ridiculous. Um, but they're really good. And I'm wearing them today. So uh, this isn't sponsored, by the way. This is my opinion. Because it's Dave Star is in France. And it's my opinion. So, yeah. Um, go in there. Have a look around. There's some really good deals in there. Really good deals. It's a good shop. I like it. Everything I've bought from there bar a pot of gold colored spray paint that's the only yeah and i got my money back on that uh is uh everything's good stay away from the glittery gold paint that's all i can say 
Um, the, the household paints, your, your masonry paints, interior, exterior, and your fillers, really, really good. And a bargain compared to, say, Brico or, or Leroy Merlin, or, no, sorry, Leroy Merlin, over here, Le Roi Merlin, um, or Brico Marche. So, yeah, the paints are really good. So um, get in there, buy in bulk <laughs> if you're going to painting, going to do some painting. Like as soon as I've d done the uh, sanding in the uh, living room upstairs, I will be going in there and buying 20 litres of this, 20 litres of that. I think it's 20 litres, maybe just 10 litres. Yeah, 10 litres. And uh, but the paint is really good, really good. Um, it's not your wishy-washy stuff that you can get in Brico and other places not quite as dulux but near as damn it for the price so yeah um that's just my insight so uh i'm gonna crack on uh i might do a, a time lapse of me doing some uh skimming uh if you're interested and uh yeah let's crack on Gloves. I've done, uh, as you can probably tell, I've done the top of that all over there, the bottom in the corner, and up to this point here, uh, skimmed where I needed to skim. Uh, obviously not everywhere needs a skim, so hence you see the, the patches, such as here, doesn't need a skim. But if you go closely to this here, you can see how lumpy it is. So that does need skimming. So that's all I've got to do. I'm not going to do any more skimming today. I've got enough product to do this. So all I'm going to do is continue sanding at the top, because I've, all the way around I've sanded in the middle. In the middle. It's lovely and smooth. Beautiful. But the top and the bottom, I haven't. So, that's what I've got to do now. So I'm going to put you down while I attempt a bit of sanding. Let's see if you've got a good view. I think that's okay.
Oh, maybe there. Let's put you back a bit. There we go. Ta-ta for now.